Hello everybody and welcome to a video sponsored by Armageddon and they've sent me one of the newest um, USB Type-C wired um, gaming keyboards which is right here the MKA1C Nex which is in my opinion is a pretty awesome keyboard uh, comes in white and also comes in black this is a 61 uh, key hot swappable uh, keyboard comes in two different colors black and white they send me the white one and it comes uh, with three different types of switches that come in the blue pink and brown they've sent me the blue one which is much more tactile giving you a much more clicky sensation if you're into the feedback the tactile feedback uh, you love the sound that clicks noisy clicks uh, then the blue switches are for you you want something more subtle more quiet pink switches are there the brown switches are there pretty cool Obviously, as I mentioned, it's hot swappable, so they've given you some tools for you to remove the keycaps and the keys and all that for you to replace and customize your keyboard as you like. Yes, this, so yeah, this is a wired keyboard, it does not have any Bluetooth functionality, which is fine because if you're into gaming, you want something much more responsive, something more reliable, something more direct. Uh, this is the one for you right here so this thing also just like all of armageddon's uh, keyboards it has anti-ghosting it comes uh it, it's able to last up to 20 million keystrokes according to armageddon so you're good to go and also um, they're claiming that it has a lifetime uh, armageddon's website explains that it has a lifetime fate proof uh warranty so we'll see about that we'll see about that when if it's true cool and obviously, who, those who are into the RGB color scheme, all your, you're in luck. This thing has a five zone multicolored um, LED backlight, which is just perfect for your uh, gaming setup. Comes with up to 18 uh, different color schemes. I'm gonna show you a few over here. And then you've got obviously this one where it lights up as you type. And you got one of strobe light waves. I mean, it's got a decent amount of uh, variety of uh, light effects, which is pretty cool. Not necessary, but hey, if you're into this, then you got it. So another cool thing about this is it's a plug, plug and play. You don't need any software enhancements uh, to make this thing work. You all you gotta do is plug it in and boom, works right from the box pretty amazing stuff obviously they also provide a cable in the box that uh, is up to 1.6 meter a pvc one uh, this one's I'm, I'm just using uh, my own wire at the moment but they have their own uh, durable pvc wire that they come in the box so you can use it as well so another cool thing about this is the fact that it's pretty light it's not a metallic uh, keyboard it's it's a decent weight it's got around 410 grams uh, plastic obviously and uh, and just like other Armageddon keyboards it's got two uh, adjustable stands you got this you got two different heights this one and also a much more smaller one as you can see over here pretty neat stuff so I am coming from another Armageddon keyboard the GMK 100 RGB which I have reviewed in a previous video go check it out a link will be in the description or uh, at the end of the playlist this one is a wireless uh, bluetooth and also wired capable uh rgb wired sorry a wired capable uh keyboard but, uh, but this one has pink switches so it's much more silent it's much more has a satisfying click to it if you're into that so yeah that's that and prior to that i had this one the alcatroz uh i forgot the name <laughs> the alcatroz Tetris Air 300C also reviewed this one. This is much more of a membrane type keyboard, no RGB, but the aesthetics are pretty freaking cool. So I'm coming from these two amazing keyboards. And so far I've tried this for like a couple of days and it is pretty cool. I've used it to game, not bad. Played Helldivers 2 and it worked like a charm. Now one thing I do have, I'm not sure, if Armageddon uh, has it, it's just that the caps, there's no indicator to, you know, if I 
activate the caps lock. So I'm not sure if the RGB is affecting it. Nope, there's no indicator showing that if it's the caps lock's on or off. So that's one thing to note. I f I'll contact Arm again regarding this. If there's any update, I'll leave it in the description below. Maybe I'm just too dumb not to realize <laughs> because even in the manual, it doesn't really say much. So yeah, because that's one of the downsides. But yeah, if you want to get one of these for yourselves, the link will be in the description below. Do check Armageddon out. They have some cool keyboards. And uh, thank you Armageddon for sponsoring this video. And uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Do leave a like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.